Hi YouTube, it's Lena. And Brian. We are here today with Japan Crate. January's, pretty much. <laughs> We're trying to buy a house. Yeah, it's been a little chaotic around here. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, uh, Japan Crate comes in three different sizes. We get the premium one for 35 a month. I assume she's correct. And let's open it up. Let's see. Yep, this is January. Well, that's good. I'm sure whatever festivals are in there have already passed. Yeah, they're, well, they were set in January. That doesn't appear to be a specific theme. It's no, just January. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Like, is there a theme? Sometimes there's themes, sometimes not. Yeah, not the case. Anyways, uh, I guess we'll start with this one since it's on top. Okay. Those are Koikea Pride Potato, Kyoto Fried White Soy Sauce. I assume there's white soy sauce flavored potato chips. What's a white soy sauce? I have no idea. If anybody was going to know out of us, it was going to be you, so... I know what white miso is, but that's soy sauce and miso aren't really the same thing. That should be up front. I'm good. I'm not hating on it, but it does taste different than regular soy sauce. I mean, honestly, all told, they don't taste that different than just a plain potato chip. Uh, I think they're kettle style. Mm -hmm. they, they're really crunchy like kettle chi chips are. Uh, they're good, though. Here, we got these two. As a little man on the front. And I believe they are some kind of corn chips because there is a damn thing of corn on the front. They are corn chips. Dressing flavor. Frito Lane Craft have partnered up to bring crunchy chips flavored with Parmesan Caesar dressing. Try them as is or chop to the top of salad. It actually has like a picture of you putting it on a salad on here. You want something good on salad? Break up some Funyuns on a salad. Shit's legit, yo. Okay, the chips looked like they were going to be bigger, but they're actually quite small. Interesting. It's got a sweetness to it. Yeah, which I think has got to be coming from the corn chip because Parmesan Caesar dressing doesn't really sing sweet to me. Uh, they're good though. Oh yeah, I could actually totally see breaking those up on top of a salad. There's honestly. a little bit of Caesar flavor to them. I'm mostly getting the sweet corn chip, honestly. Like the corn chip is really sweet, but I don't know. I mean, you get a little bit of that Caesar tang. Is this a chew or a gum? With the gum, will wait. Chew. Okay, it's a chew. That is persimmon high chew. Oh, it says high chew on here. Duh. Persimmon are a sweet and soft fruit commonly served in the winter. Some persimmons are dried, hoshigaki, and associated with good luck and longevity. Have a taste of these New Year's traditions in a classic Japanese flavor. It's New Year's traditions in March. We didn't even get it till January. I mean, that's fair, because it is the January box. Well, usually these arrive late in the month because they ship from Japan, so they take like two to four weeks. They're really good. Mm -hmm. It actually does taste like a persimmon. I have no idea what a persimmon is. Apparently some kind of orangey thing. It looks orange, but it's not. But it tastes pretty much just like that. Like, if it's just something fish related, I'm not eating There's it. one thing I can say about basically all the Japanese candy we've had. Their flavors seem to mimic the actual flavor it's trying to be. A lot closer than a lot of American flavors do. Other than grape. Other than grape. That is puku puku taiyaki. Taiyaki is a is a Japanese street food that's often shaped like a fish and filled with sweet red bean. This oh, one's filled with chocolate. I thought it was like some kind of fish skin, fish roe, well, but I'm like, I think it's like no. a crunchy thing with chocolate in the middle. It's just shaped like a fish. Yeah, it's got like chocolate in the middle. Eat the fish. I have on lipstick, so I figured you can bite your half first. The chocolate's good. It's a real light, airy chocolate. The outside kind of tastes like a sugar wafer with no sugar. It's got the texture of a sugar wafer, but the outside has like no flavor at all. Why well, don't you get enough chocolate with it? But the chocolate in the middle is very nice. It's very light for chocolate. we got a good sweetness to it. That is... Fully ripe strawberry Genji pie. These flaky pies are perfect for winter. They're made of 64 layers of crispy pastry and filled with strawberry cream. You can try it toasted and warm for a delectable winter treat. That's effort. 
We can eat them cold. In a bag, in a box. That does seem unnecessary. That also seems unnecessary. They're a little dry, either with the strawberry, I don't know if it's cream or jelly or strawberry cream in the middle. The outside's still a little dry. The outside honestly doesn't taste like a whole lot. The strawberry in the middle tastes good, but it's having to do a lot of work to try to flavor the outside. They're not bad with milk. Wouldn't they? Well. I believe this is our DIY for the month, which I believe we can at least read to you what it is. That is sleeping great. He ain't gonna eat it anyway. This is one of the most popular Japanese DIY kits. Blend the ingredients together to make a fluffy grape mix and add crunchy, crunchy chips as a sweet topping. You know what? I have a giveaway coming soon. I'm just going to add this to it. Have fun whoever wins that. Yep, we got a drink. That is a limited edition Cola Slim bottle. Enjoy this cola in its limited edition 2019 New Year bottle design. Since the, since the 100th anniversary of Coca-Cola, Japan has released exclusive yearly designs. Keep this unique commemorative bottle for design for your collection. Who the hell has a Coke bottle collection? Weirdos. It's Coke. It's just Coke? It's Coke. Yeah, that's just Coke. I mean, you know, it tastes like Coke. Look, I'll show you the bottle since they apparently care so much about it. I mean, it's a, I guess, a neat design. It's in an all-metal bottle, which is... Not something you get here, really. Yeah, but, uh, I mean... I'll drink the rest of this later, but it's a damn Coke. It's a Coke. Like, that, it is nothing but a Coke. I mean, I like Coke. I love Coke, actually, but... A little too much. A little too much, honestly. A marshmallow. That is a big marshmallow. <laughs> well, shit! This marshmallow is like fluffy winter snow. Put it in hot cocoa, melt it into a s'more, or eat it as is. It's a little big to put into cocoa. You could dip it in cocoa. I suppose. I assume it's just a big-ass marshmallow. That's what it appears to be. It, it's a big-ass marshmallow. I'm gonna eat it. It's a big ass marshmallow. I mean, <laughs> ain't nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with it, but it's just a big ass marshmallow. It's just like a sucker. With a Voltron? Who that? That is Ultraman candy. Like Fire or ice. Taste the ultra flavor of this grape lollipop featuring Ultraman Rosso and Ultraman Bull. I'm not having any, because grape can suck it. So you got say Ultraman on the back. I didn't look. I assume it tastes like a grape sucker. Lightly of grape, yes. I don't like grape, so I'm not. I will finish eating that later. This do that. Mochi Choco. This is a Mochi Choco almond. Have a bit of this yummy chocolate pie. Mochi is popular in New Year's food, and one, this one is coated and filled with rich chocolate. Mochi is like the kind of marshmallowy stuff. Mm -hmm. This one's apparently coated and filled with chocolate. I think we normally get them co or like filled with like fruit type things. Yes. Or chocolate. Would you let me just bite that in half? You can't just make that. Oh no, mochi is a little different. Mochi is the thicker, chewier version. <laughs> Hmm, that's weird. That's moon pie-esque. Flavor-wise, yes. Texture-wise, not even close. No, I'm definitely with my taste. I don't care for the texture of mochi. I don't either. It's unnecessarily chewy. That is maple hot cake. Enjoy a sweet treat with these mini hot cakes. Similar to Doriaki, these pancakes are made into sandwiches filled with delicious maple syrup cream. Eat it, there's two. Oh, they smell like maple syrup, too. They do. They taste like maple syrup. They're a little dry, though. Even with the stuff in the middle. To be fair, a pancake on its own is a little dry. True, but it's got the syrup cream in the middle and it's still a little dry. That is a small plum bag. The package of this is actually really cute. 
These candies are made of Japanese plums and have a history of over 40 years. It's iconic for its packaging featuring, featuring a girl named Kumume-chan from the Meiji era. I don't know what that means. Well, the Meiji era is an era of Japanese history, and her name is Kumume-chan. I mean, I don't know what era that is. I don't know. My history, my history, historical knowledge of Japan is kind of lacking. When I took a class in Asian history, we focused on China because that was my teacher's dissertation stuff. Holy crap! Shower on the outside. A little bit. Um, I wasn't expecting it. It's plum candy. It tastes good. Once we get past that shower. I didn't really get any sour on the outside of mine. But I mean, it tastes like plums, which plums are delicious, so. Now we have like little bits of candy. We have a pipe. That's pipe chocolate. <laughs> it's a pipe. This chocolate comes in a fun pipe-like packaging that also doubles as a whistle. Oh joy. Make it makes it makes for a fun sound maker for the new year. I don't know if you could sell this in the States. Probably not. Not anymore. Looks, it's encouraging children to smoke or something. Yeah, I'm sure it would have gone the way of candy cigarettes. I'm sure you'll just dump it in the, your mouth. The six slit type things. Yeah. The chocolate has it's pretty much six slits. Did you lose one? Yes, I did. Too late now. That little bit of chocolate's not going to hurt wheels. Yeah, I'm gonna throw this one away immediately. Okay, how about a Hello Kitty thing next? That is the Hello Kitty chocolate marshmallow. There's been a lot of marshmallow stuff. If you're feeling a bit peckish, have a nibble on this fluffy chocolate filled marshmallow packaged with Japan's iconic Hello Kitty. That festival down there looks like it's something involving fire. Maybe they think we'll roast shit at it. The Oni Hajiri? Is it a marshmallow filled with chocolate? Mm -hmm. Good chocolate. It's a marshmallow filled with some chocolate. <laughs> we were supposed to get some Pokemon Sun and Moon gum. Which looks kind of cool. We appear to have gotten a blue jawbreaker of some sort. And I think we've had those before actually. And two types of gum. One piece gum, which is just gum with a one piece character on it. It's great flavored. Uh, I'll, I'll keep that to myself. And the Doraemon Marble Gum. This round marble-like gum has an iconic history of 50 years in Japan. This one features Doraemon with soda-flavored gum. I'm good. I'm, yeah. I'm kind of tired of, of cola-flavored gum. Because it all tastes like cola-flavored gum. We don't really enjoy their version of cola. I'm just tired of it. It wasn't that bad when I started, but literally every box has had at least one cola flavor. Well, that's gum. a very popular thing Some there. of which, some of them have had more than one. Yes. It's a bit much. Hey, we've only got one cola flavored thing in that's January. That's true. Um, lots of good stuff, actually. The, the chips that we started with were really good. The next chips were good, even though they're kind of weirdly sweet, the corn chips. The haichu, the persimmon haichu was really good. Um, the chocolate marshmallow was really good, as was yeah. the fish. The taiyaki fish was good. Um, the plum things were pretty good, um, if you like plums. Maybe I don't like plums. Maybe not. Um, yeah, I, I'm not trying more gum. Uh, and the chocolate pie strawberry things were just dry. But, all in all, solid box. Mm -hmm. so that is oh, and the mochi thing was kind of gross because of the texture of mochi. Oh god, yeah. That, that was good. probably the worst thing in the it box. It tasted good. The chocolate in it was good. That Clearly I don't horrific. like the texture of mochi. Anyway, that is it. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, we do really appreciate it, and hopefully we will see you later. Bye!